I'm Andy Cowell, I'm the Managing Director here at Mercedes AMG High Performance Powertrains. Here at Mercedes AMG HPP, as we call it to shorten it, we, uh, we create, we design, we manufacture the uh, Mercedes Formula One power unit. The 2014 regulation changes were inspired by the FIA to ensure that the technology within Formula One um, is well aligned with the road car technology of the day. Um, and two key regulations were introduced. Um, one is that um, there's only 100 kilograms for the race distance to be used and the flow rate that you can spend that at is at a maximum of 100 kilograms per hour. These regulations challenged us to produce something that's exceptionally efficient and powerful. To meet this, we focused on four areas of engineering. I am Dr. Nigel McKinley, team leader for performance simulation. The combustion process is the main fuel energy conversion process. It's the burning of fuel in air. It determines how much fuel energy is transmitted as force to propel the car and how much is wasted as heat through the exhaust and the car radiators. The success of the combustion process determines how much fuel energy propels the car. Our engineers made developments to the geometry of the combustion chamber and also numerous developments in other areas of the power unit which optimise the precise condition of the air-fuel mixture leading to efficient combustion to propel the car. Our engineers have worked with our team's partner Patronus to engineer the molecular structure of gasoline. The resulting fuel chemistry and our entire combustion system then work together in harmony to maximise each other's potential. The forces involved in the combustion process are immense. The gas pressure is the equivalent of the weight of four elephants pressing down on each of the engine's six cylinders. The peak gas temperature is about half the temperature of the surface of the sun. 200 of these events occur in the blink of an eye, 50,000 in a race lap, and over 30 million in the lifetime of an engine. Our developments have led us to thermal efficiencies closer to 50 than 40%. This means that half of the fuel is being used directly to propel the car. If road engines achieved a similar step, improvement in efficiency, this would have a major effect on CO2 reduction. <laughs>